Thank you. You are listening to WWRN Worldwide Random Music 103.2. I'm Sherlock Turner and I'm handing it off to Carl. Carl, it's time for you to read. Hello, it's Reading with Carl. And today we are going to read Flora, written by Kim Tassett. Here she comes. She always wakes up and walks her dog before coming to sit on her front porch and watch a bumblebee. Yes, I did say a bumblebee. Flora Dye is an author who loves to write about bumblebees. She writes stories for small children to read about them. I love her name, Flora. It reminds me of a flower. She wears a flower in her hat every day. It's a yellow rose. Not a real one, but a silk one. She looks like she belongs outdoors on her front porch. That is where she sits every day to watch the bumblebee. The bumblebee that flies around her yellow roses on her porch. Maybe that's why she wears the silk one in her hat. I'm glad that she sits on her porch. That way I can watch her watch the bumblebee. She observes the bumblebee and then writes about it in its life so children can have an idea of what a bumblebee does all day. She writes of how bumblebees buzz around for food, friends, and flowers. She named the bumblebee Beasley. Hmm. I wonder why she named him Beasley. Oh, could it be that when it buzzes around, it sounds like Beasley? Someday, I will be brave enough to come down and just talk to her. Maybe she would give me a name and write stories about me. For now, I just sit in the same old corner and watch Flora. Watch a bumblebee. Thank you, kids. That was Reading with Carl. And that story was by a friend of mine named Kim Tashit. She is a great friend. She hasn't had this book published because she is afraid to. I don't know, I guess so. But it was a good book. It's about a spider sitting up in the corner of a house, recognizing that how much this lady in front of her, Flora Dye, means to him, or her, whatever the flyer, whatever the spider's gender is, sorry about that, (laughs) Uh, alright, back to your music.